challenge yourself to become a better photographer in 30 days. How about that? Well, now we're on challenge number 26. And ironically, how many letters are in the English alphabet? 26. So today we're going to challenge you to photograph letters or even words. Now this is very similar to the number challenge, but sometimes with letters, there's a lot more variety. There's a lot more variety in fonts and things like that. But again, kind of the basis is the same in the fact that you can use a very straight, direct version of this challenge, or you can have more of an abstract, you know, uh, out of the box type of approach. Again, first of all, you can choose to take photos of words. And I did this, and actually this is one that I'm going to use in one of my, uh, in the upcoming art fair. So notice this one here. It's simply, you can read that, you can understand it. It's not just one letter, but it's a collection of letters. But I think that these, this word open really kind of creates an artistic feel by itself. And that's the cool thing about words, not just by reading them, but by seeing them, that there is such a variety in the artwork that is words. Now, if you ever notice in old books, they, you know, the first letter of the, you know, story start out very ornate. That was actually part of the um, original type of education in lettering. So, letters are a kind of an ancient art form and to capture that in the photo is carrying that same type of artistic value through now again the second one is pretty cool because you can be able to find letters in naturally occurring objects or man-made objects is pretty cool i was doing this challenge myself in new york city and i was able to find something that looked like a double z and then of course, if you turn it, it looked like double ends. But it, it causes you to take a moment to pause and look around and say, where is now, like a tree? It can create the letter A because the branch actually grows out or at least the letter V, it can grow out like that. And then another branch go here and then you have the letter A. Again, it doesn't have to look like the letter like this. It could be tilted, it could be rotated or anything like that, but work on capturing that that is a little bit more of a challenge but you can always use lettering itself as a, in its pure art form of letters as a way to convey that idea of lettering as artwork as always challenge yourself to become a better photographer every day